my cue. Uh, probably the worst day and night uh, that I've ever seen uh, anyone else go through. Uh, worse than, than any testimony I have ever experienced. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about gang stalking today. Stuff that you may, may or may not know. I don't care. You could be a TI for 50 years and not know the way this works. I tried to, you know. So uh, here's, here's the problem. First of all, there aren't that many people that understand the interdimensionality of it and the witchcraft aspect of it. I try to explain it. Uh, usually I get, you know, I'll hear each episode a couple thumbs down here and there, but that one got flagged at four because, again, people aren't getting it. They're trying to keep it. So I'm just going to give you my testimony, and you tell me. First of all, I do have an effect on electricity, Okay. Uh, as I was attempting to put a broadcast up, did I say greetings in the name of the Most High? I'm sorry if I forgot that. Greetings in the name of the Most High. A little bit upset because while I tried to get on the internet, the internet blew, the phone system blew, the machines in the studio blew some time ago, but I mean, it's blown. The uh, SoundCloud itself went down at the moment I was trying to um, get in. I mean, every single thing was locked out completely. And uh, destroyed now. So I know something's up. I was attacked all night. Um, You name it. Uh, Beamed. Burned. uh, You know, uh, all, all kinds of things. But the theme, at least mentally, was just this gang stalking theme. I'm like, I haven't really done a, you know, explain this to people. Now, all of what happened, uh, I don't care whether they sit out there with some kind of machine and beaming it at me or whatever. All of it's witchcraft. All, 100%. That's why I don't label myself as a TI, because I'm not, uh, they're my targets. Sorry, I'm no one's target. Nobody does that to me, what happened. And I, I doubt they'll be back. No, they won't be back. I guarantee you they won't be anywhere. But I want to talk about a very uh, not talked about topic, which is victims of gang stalking, they say, you know, without and leave out like 90% of what really happened, um, of this phenomenon who then become perpetrators. You guys like to say perps. Well, you know, criminals, perps, whatever. I mean, there is an aspect of gang stalking that turns girls into prostitutes, let's say, or human trafficking. That's called criminality. So you say perpetrator. Having to calm myself, because like I say, I, when things like this start happening, I have an effect on machines. I, I um, can stop a car. I can stop a train. I can stop a plane, which is not something I want to do, especially if I'm flying in one. <laughs> uh it's it just I have to control myself so those things don't happen. Uh, and it all ties back to the for the AB negative blood, which I you know tell people, and there are a few people that understand what that means, but most don't. So that's you know we're going to get that subject through. So we'll just move on to this one. So all night, I mean, it's just like back and forth. Finally, I saw and and, and I'm having dreams too of the gang stalking while it's going on. And I'm getting hit in the, the, you know, I mean, physically hit in the stomach and the thighs and they're trying to hit my, you know, privates and all kinds of stuff going on. And, uh, you know, I won't say levitation, but, you know, pretty close to it. Of course, no, no one talks about that part, you know. And uh, so, so well, that's demonic. Yes, well, I fought them off. You'd be very proud of me. I cast them out. I... You know, did all that. I cast them out, and I cast gave them to the Lord for adjudication. And then I was showing this this guy who poses. I'm not going to say who he is, but he poses as this Ti victim, and he's the one orchestrating this whole thing against me. And there he was, like wearing a black suit, and black hat, and a black hat. Get that black hat. And there he was. 
And he's saying, I want to see how your gang stopped. I want you to prove to me how you deal with gang stalking. Now you're being, how are you dealing with this gang stalking? Anyway, so he's orchestrating the whole thing, which, you know, I get revelation that it's 100% accurate. So don't even think for a minute that you weren't seen if you tune into this. If you do, you better run as far as you can run. And even then, you won't find a hiding place. Father Yahweh, the Lord, done with you. But I can tell you this, doesn't have a lot of uh, good feeling about, you know, people that betray. I, I would give you to Judas, 30 pieces of silver, and hanged. You know, nice little kick in the teeth reward. The Lord doesn't see uh, uh, with honor, does not acknowledge you as his, uh, as anything. You are not seen and understood. You are not there or part of anything that has to do with the Lord. And you pose as some guy that's, you know, real religious. So perpetrators who pose as victims as, I guess he labels himself a T.I. I don't put up with this for one second. This, is, this takes me all back, all the way back to Frankie and uh, me and, and Rich Keltner and the whole Gabagoo incident, and that, that was a mega witch. I mean, she had 500 people praying for, for a death curse on us. 500 minimum. So we dealt with that for a while, but of course that, you know, you can't really kill me, so. That's always a mistake to go that far. So, I, you know, I expect this, and I, you know what the thing is? I was going to do a series about this. And so I'm up to, up to date, you know, I mean, between, you know, voice to skull, uh, you know, burning this, burning that, you know, uh, stabbing into the, the ribs, uh, people, you know, that you run into saying stuff that's in your head. What else, what else do you guys do with your inter interdimensional witchcraft? People that do say all these things the next day, I know they're not the same people. I understand that. But they don't understand it out there. See? We're blocked from the, giving the truth out to the people. How do I fight this? How did I win? I win with the Lord. You understand? I win with the cross. I win with the blood of Jesus. And I won. Just like up against the Santeria witches. Just like every other time they come at me. This time, of course, we had real big sorcery. We had machines breaking. We had the whole internet, the phone, everything went out in that one moment. Even SoundCloud trying to log in, it went down right at that moment. All at the same moment. And at one point it said I had no account there. Yeah. Can't find it. So I thought, okay, they're going to erase my account. All right. Okay. You want to go there? We'll go there. So, you know, little, little clue as to how to deal with something like this. And mind you, nobody, you know, my, my heart goes out to, there, I, I've gotten from time to time, and, and you have to forgive me for being all over the place. This is just, I'm in the wake of this right now. I'm real raw right now because I'm, you know, this is... Uh, I can't say unexpected, but the somebody, obviously, even though I have such a small footprint, and you know, just have a real small YouTube, you know, kind of almost like a family gathering, and uh, speaker, you know, more more people there. But again, it, it adds up over the platform. You know, I've got like three main ones, but um, you know, it's not like I'm really on their radar. Not like I'm going to move the dial unless the people that are attracted to me or to what I speak about are themselves anointed of God, which may be the case. You know, birds of a feather. I mean, I, I, I don't say anointed. I mean super anointed, beyond anointed. You know, in other words, came from there and there is no other position. You know, that's it. 
Uh, I don't know what else to say. Part of always been, you know, tuned in to the spiritual realm from day one, from one years old, from babyhood, birth. Obviously, that sort of person. You know, now there are not that many of those, and that may be why, I've, but I have a feeling that those are the ones who are listening, which means that whatever they do out there, they move the dial. Only one of them is needed to move the whole city. I'm going to shut up about that because that gets me in, you know, I used to, <laughs> a long time ago, I used to get in trouble. Oh, you're just, I'm not, it's not a boast. I'm just, just as a way, I just can't, I'd have no filter right now, so I got I to gotta put my filters back. So, you know, so I guess what it is is you guys move the dial even though you were few. The masses out there, they're all confused. I mean, you know, it's like, and, and yesterday, I know where this thing kind of started is I was, I was seeing people out there in their conspiracy communities and their New Age LARPs and their, um, you know, their political kind of inside thing and their sort of Pizzagate thing and John Podesta, this and that, and the whole, you know, sort of gaggle of people with all their philosophies about God and this and that. And I just detach from it all. It's just not me. It's just not me. You know, I was there, and we're going to talk about a lot of changes here. First of all, over at SoundCloud, uh, there is no more Zeph Report podcasts. I was hoping to have them, you know, shared on SoundCloud from Spreaker in the music section and just start mixing that up because I don't care anymore about a music thing. Uh, just being exclusively music, you know, because I just, it, it's, it's mixed up over at Podbean and it seems to work out fine. I'll, you just have to label it. Uh, and um, so that's, they're wondering where to get it. Well, the best place to get it is Spreaker, obviously, and to sign up there because then you get it right away. The uh, feature that tells you I'm live is down through May, uh, I guess, 4th. They're, they're working on it. They have a ticket out on it, okay? So it's not going ahead and saying, it's not you, it's Spreaker. They are not being able to say that they are, uh, when you're live, it usually puts an announcement on SoundCloud, Twitter, wherever you are social network-wise. I'm only on a couple. I don't, I don't go to all of them because it's a waste of time. Uh so that feature is down for right now. So you guys have to spread this around as you see it up. You'll have to check from Spreaker and then put it and then post it around because otherwise it won't get posted around. So we're just kind of, you know, like I say, consolidating and trying to, you know, um, I think if you look at Podbean, that's, that's overall a pretty good place, especially if you like archives. If you are a music fan... You can get a lot of music there. Spreaker, there's a lot of music there that it just separated by music and podcast. So you can have just music. SoundCloud, I don't know. I'm just going to experiment with that. That's always been for high quality wave files, which sound better than MP3. And I've kept up that for 300 tracks. So people can get some 300 tracks in high quality format if that matters to them. I do it for like, there's like three or four people that are audiophiles. And I, you know, I just. It's also for me, too. If I want to go ahead and down, grab something and download it and play it on the show, then I have a high-quality WAV file there. Although on my phone and iPad, it only plays MP3s. But be that as it may, imagine taking down SoundCloud. I did. It's back now. Is it? I, probably. Let's see. Trish doesn't know, but, I, uh, but that was me. That was me. That was this, this attack. I hope you don't underestimate what I'm talking about here. And there's a good risk. I've already prayed and covered all of you in the blood of Jesus Christ. Understand this, though. You're all vul vulnerable because you're tuning in here. There is a risk to you listening today. This, can't find that user. Okay, so I was taken out of SoundCloud. Uh, I, it, it's, still, it's still there. It's up. But apparently, well, it's slash... Trish, it's slash Zef Daniel. Yeah. Okay. So try going right now to sound. If you want to know how severe it is, let me just tell you. It's 
soundcloud.com forward slash Zeph Daniel. Go ahead and give it a try. This happened just, I was just there, it was fine. During my time there, it broke. I don't know whether they deleted me or not. I didn't delete myself. I had nothing to do with it. All I was trying to do was see if uh, Spreaker had posted something there, just looking at that, and then I left. But it left it in ruin. And uh, they might have, this attack that I was un- unfortunately going through may have extended to that as well. I would never delete my music section from SoundCloud, just so you know, and I would not commit suicide. Okay, I did delete the uh, Zeph Report podcast because it was redundant and Dubiverse because it's just, frankly, I, if I need that, any of that music, I can just call it up when I need it. I just, it just seemed like, you know, I saw there were 13 plays over a two-week period and I was like, that, that's, I'm not going to pay for this. That, is, that is, makes me a fool. You know, you guys don't uh, appreciate the earlier music, that's fine. Um, I'm not here to have a legacy for after I'm dead, maybe when I'm dead. It'll all be gone anyway. I could care less. I'm like the Tibetans with the mandala. You know, you work on it for a year. It's this exquisite, beautiful uh, sand painting called a mandala, a round, very colorful, very detailed work, what the Tibetans do. At the end of that year, they blow it all away. That's exactly how I am. Poof, I'm gone. I have no need of, you know, of keeping a footprint here on Earth. I have no need of, of having a legacy. I have no need of having a plaque on the wall that says Zeph was here. I don't need to piss on every plant to establish my territory. I'm not a dog. <laughs> oh, no, I don't mind the dogs peeing on their, you know, plants and things. To establish. Eli is an expert at that. But uh, that's not me. You know, that's not me, okay? Uh, I am trying desperately to... Uh, to get this, this, this word out. So there are perpetrators that uh, were victims and, and pose as victims who are, could be perpetrating against you. And just keep that in mind, you know, when you're dealing in spiritual warfare, that and, and in my case, I, could, it, I was feeling, I was asleep, I was waiting, I could see in my mind, in my, uh, you know, I'm very, very, you know, I, I can vision anything, okay? And no, no one gets away with anything around me. So basically, I see everything, Everything. And uh, it's happening to me at the same time. And, uh, you know, (laughs) and then, of course, there's other aspects. The cosmic aspects are when you break the Internet and you break whole websites and you break whole phone systems, you break whole networks, your energy, my energy, whatever, was out of control. I guess I'm a little bit like Carrie. You know the movie Carrie? I don't control it, though. It's like if, it, if I get pushed to a certain point, that's what starts happening. <laughs> I did take an extra copper pill today, for those of you who understand. I take a little copper supplement. I have a copper supplement that I add to the copper supplement because of uh, not wanting to get anemic. I don't have iron blood. I have copper. Yeah, they don't want people to understand about that, but uh, that's what gives me these uh, abilities. Long story. Long story. We could join the psychic phone network. Wonderful. But anyway, okay, let's get down to it. All right, so we got... uh, So we got... and, And I love it when they try to do the knife to the ribs, you know, but that's old. This, what's new about this is, and, and you guys all, all, all think, you know, a lot of times, well, if it's got something to do with hardware, which is their hardware is all broken now. I'll bet they wish they never even tried that. It's Beltane. Huh? It's Beltane. Well, we're talking about, you know, whatever, satellites in space, whatever, something like that. But, uh, and then they try to get you below the belt. You know what I mean. And they're doing all that, and I'm jumping up around it, and, and I realize I'm just bouncing around on the bed, you know, like being zapped. And, uh, and at the same time, then I understand there's the whole psychic component to it, the whole witchcraft aspect and interdimensional aspect, 
which again, most gang stalking victims don't understand the interdimensionality. You see, when I was a teenager, I suffered through some of this interdimensionality and even saw these other dimensions. So I understand what's happening. And um, you know what I mean? Because you can't just like drive down Sunset Boulevard and have everybody on their porches suddenly when it's on staring at you, UFOs following you overhead, and then all these people like zombies pointing at you in these million, multi million dollar homes as you're driving down Sunset Boulevard at three in the morning, they wouldn't be out there. That didn't happen. And if you go back and ask them if it happened or not, they'd say, of course not. Why would I be out on my porch on Sunset Boulevard at three in the morning pointing at you driving, waiting and anticipating you driving by and then laughing at you, ha, 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 like a devil? There's your, yeah, that's your gang stalking. There you go. That's it on an epic level. Epic. Which most people will never experience. But anyway, that's all right. The point is, the point is, all of this comes from Satan. I hope we can agree on that. So the remedy to it all is obviously you're praying in Jesus' name and you're pleading the blood of Jesus over the situation, and that takes care of it. I mean, you know, you have to not just bind it and hand it to the Lord for adjudication. These people must be tagged. And when you're tagged, you have 30 seconds to figure out how to repent or goodbye. It's not a death curse. It's something the Lord gives us. You know, when, if somebody does something to a lamb of God, and even if that lamb is so innocent they don't understand it, the Lord takes vengeance on that person every time. Even when you see people being killed in the Middle East and all that, there's a vengeance coming. Now look at Syria. Look at Middle East wars. Look at all the victims. Look at all the bodies piled up to the moon. You know, it's nothing happens here in a vacuum. And I would just say <clears throat> that, um, you know, the phones will come back. The internet that got destroyed as I was using it will come back. Uh, the SoundCloud, I guess, will come back. Uh, it all happened at once. I was going to do a talk today on gang stalking and try to, you know, do a series maybe, once and for all, prove beyond all shadow of a doubt the extent, the length, and the breadth, the industry, the, 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 whether it be the uh, tie-in with the military-industrial complex, all the way to the spiritual warfare, and connect it up so people understand how to fight it and how to win of course, there's no winning without somebody losing. I hope you understand that. And you don't want to get too tangled up in your own vengeance. Because if you get tangled up in vengeance, you know, if, I mean, I may be angry at being abused all night. But it's the Lord's decision what to do with it. I hand it to him. And he takes it then they're targeted. But whatever he does or doesn't do, that's the Lord's business. If I enter into it, you know, the, the, I've, I've used to do that when I was young, younger, the re rebuke it, bind it, send it back times seven and all that, and we even have a song about that, but I don't do that anymore. It's more important for me to remain pure, you see, and I can't remain pure if I get involved in a fight where I'm I'm, I'm wanting some personal justice. I already have justice with Jesus. I have justice in eternal life. I have justice in beating the system. I have justice in all this stuff. I'm justified in standing here and rebuking that, that, uh, any of that stuff. Oh, yeah, they can start it up with me. That, I mean, I've, I don't report this, but yet it happened uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a store not that long ago, maybe about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Same thing, just a whole different setup. Different people, you know, 
zombified coming at you, you know, saying things that only you know, blocking your shopping cart, you're making sure you can't get what you want. It's very much like the same ongoing nightmare I have every other night, it seems, that I keep trying to find my keys and they keep moving them so I can't get them, so I can never leave the building. You know, it's the same vibe. It's that same supernatural horror nightmare, Rosemary's Baby horror movie shit, you know. That's, that's what's going on. Anyway, I can imagine with people that don't really understand all this how they could become recluses. Of course, if every time you go outside, it's a shitstorm out there, eventually you don't go outside anymore. It's like, you know, well, well, what for? And that's just not what God wants for us. The Lord wants us to be engaged, not, not traumatized to the point of whimpering in the corner. That is not who we are. That is not who I am. That is not acceptable. That is not what's going to happen here. Now, I know I've talked to lots of <clears throat> victims of gang stalking over the years. And... Uh, they tell me they got cooked, they got raped, they got this, they got that. And, uh, and then I tell them as politely as I can, yes, but you didn't get killed. Because that, it too, is a very distinct possibility. The only reason you didn't get killed is because the Lord prevented you from dying, wants you to learn what happened. Understand in the spirit you were shown the, the perpetrators and to deal with that in spiritual warfare with the Lord. There is no way that you're going to go round up anybody. Find that video evidence is all that. Um, you may prove that it exists, Certainly not going to discourage you from putting security cameras outside your home and watching who comes and goes while you're, you know, sneaking around. But that's basic breaking and entering and criminality. I mean, that's your basic criminality. You know, we're talking about something on a much more sophisticated level here. People who just start talking what's in your head, you know. And yes, they have the ability to get in you almost like a demon to look through your eyes and move your hands around to make you do things that you don't want to do. If you're very weak in, in, the, in the spirit, uh, you can, I've seen it even recently, people that, you know, have been, you know, victimized. And that's why the Lord says to be sober, to be vigilant, to be ready. You know what I mean? Last night, for whatever reason, I was ready. You know what I mean? I was ready. And... Um, and then I was shown the victim who is, you know, who's really the perp and who thinks he's really, really running the show here, who's pathetic at best, who is now seen, tagged, and screwed, glued, and tattooed right now. Boom. And he will never, ever even know what hit him because he's tangling with the almighty God. My father, not apparently not his father. See, all this goes back to the ancient, to the ancient of days. All this goes back to the angels and the, and the, and the fallen angels and the spiritual warfare. All this goes back to the origin of witchcraft and sorcery versus uh, God's children, let's say. All of this goes back to the only conflict, the one split. On one side is one thing, on the other side is another. All of this ori originates there, it gets its energy from there. The interdimensionality is a, uh, something that um, is very so high-tech, most people think it's magic. But it's very, very high-tech, okay? Very, it, just look at the interdimensionality of it all, i.e. knowing what's in your head, being projections of your own psyche in, that are there, even though they turn out to be real people who you see later who have no memory of what they just said because, indeed, they weren't the same people, even though, and I know that can freak people out, but that's a technology. All of it is. So when we don't understand that, we call it magic. 
you know, uh, witchcraft or whatever. We, we say that. We don't say it's a technology like a satellite, like a, a satellite or a tower, or, you know, elect, using electronic warfare to uh, microwaves to, 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 you know, give people diseases, cancers, discomforts and whatever else. You know, one thing that most people never talk about, they never talk about why and who they are and why they would be targeted. They just wonder. I have no, I don't, I don't, I know exactly why. I know exactly who I am and exactly why, why there's a uh, problem. And, and I expect that they're going to do exactly what they do. So I'm ready for them. But a lot of people just feel like victims, like they've got nothing to do with it. Just out of the clear blue sky, uh, binding their own business. Suddenly, one day it started up, they were targeted and boom. And they've been trying to figure out ever since, you know, what happened. They're trying to figure out what happened ever since and unable to put it to rest because they feel they don't have any power to bring against it. They're just, and then they get more and more victimized as time goes on and, uh, you know, fall further and further down the ladder of insomnia, uh, you know, uh, disease, you know, not being well and just, you know, um, uh, people, um, you know, part of it is uh, turning people against you, public opinion calling you a lousy person, making sure you can't have employment, making sure you don't have anything, taking everything away from you, turning the pressure up. Did you ever wonder why they would do that? Because the wrong answer is just because they did out of the, you know, there's no reason they just did it. Well, that's about it for me. You know, I mean, I'm just, you know, this just is, was an ongoing thing. And I just wanted to try to capture live spiritual warfare and what was happening with the electricity and the uh, phone system and the computer, the Internet and certain websites, how it all was pro- affected by all this. And um, I know this just it sounds really bizarre. Uh, there is a small community of people that are like me that uh, understand what I'm saying, but I mean, it's very small, very, 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 you know, and most of them don't understand, you know, there's just a very small amount of people that understand it, how, how about the electricity and all that going on, and uh, because it happens with them, but I mean, you know, it's one of the reasons we don't have any education about who we are, who I am versus who you are, who we are, you know. People that are, whether you're uh, RH positive blood or RH negative, doesn't matter. All get, all can be stalked. What really matters is what you're going to do in the future, who you are in the Lord. Even if you say you're an atheist or a New Ager, or you believe in Sananda, or you know you love QAnon or whatever, whatever your thing is, it doesn't matter because you can say whatever you want about yourself. It doesn't change who you are. Right? People lie about themselves all the time because they just don't know themselves. They don't mean to lie. They just, they just are inaccurate about who they are. You should count it as a blessing, though, because it means you are, if you're targeted in any way, shape, or form like that, you are, the higher it goes, the more bizarre and supernatural it is, the, the, the more, you know, the more plugged in you are. Then, then I would say, like, note to self, get closer to the Lord. Get, that's the, that's the, where you belong. Not, don't. Don't screw around here on earth. This is not really where it's at, where it's at you know. This is, uh, this is like, this is a work of the Lord. Yeah, he's, he's working it. He's bringing about his result. And it will be his result. But uh, I'm still shaking. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I've probably said a bunch of stupid things. The filters go, you know what I mean? So the things I might pull my punches on, things are, you know, like I say, to talk about these uh, uh, special abilities and things. I just want to mute that, you know what I mean? I try not to get into that because it just doesn't go anywhere. I just, it, it, but it is a fact, not a boast. It is a fact that, 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 that you know, that that's there and uh, that, that, uh, that this is all connected, this attack and everything else is part of that. They're trying to wipe us out. People like me, so well, it's an odd, it's been going on for thousands of years, you know, 
or however long it has. I mean, I, I guess for 2,000 years anyway. But no, I don't know the answers to all the questions uh, in terms of, you know, what what is this deal between the RH negative and positive? You know, if you're positive, it doesn't mean you're not of the Lord. It doesn't mean you don't have gifts as well. It doesn't mean you're not a special person of the Lord. Of course, all, all of us are the same in that regard. But this division, it is a problem because it, it uh, it's a division. It's a physical species level division. And that's, uh, you know, that's unfortunate for me. And that's unfortunate for everybody else that we're trying to, you know, like I, I never say I'm from here, right? I'm always pointing up, you know, like Jesus when he's talking to them, you know, same thing. That's what I relate to. And, um, you know, other people say, well, you need to be connected to the earth, especially the, like the, the witches I've known around here. It's like, you need to be connected to the earth. And I go, no, I don't. I have no connection with the earth. <laughs> but there are people that do. They're, they're, you know, that's, that's fine. You know, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to bother, waste my time judging people for wherever they're at. Let me make something very clear. I have made a case... Over the last, because this is like watershed going through, we put our cards on the table, fine, here we go. I made a case uh, based on what I saw in the spirit. And then, you know, and then, uh, and then, you know, regarding ISIS, regarding Trump, all those things, we saw that in the spirit way before Trump even decided to run. And we've been just watching this thing play out. And we've been lending a hand as prayer warriors, you know, in, in, and, but uh, geopolitics is not my thing. I mean, politics. It's maybe some people's thing. It's not my thing. I'm not here to spend my time sis, boom, ba, rah, rah, you know, Republicans or whatever, beat the other guy. Let's have a nice life. I'm not from here. This is not my home. Whatever happens here, it's not real. I don't feel real connected to it. It's not going to be something that really bothers me. I, that what I'm talking about today this is where I live. This is my life. And, uh, you know, the, the, the rest of it, what ha- you know, I'll do, do what I can, you know, and, and you know, I had Trump's back, and, and you saw ISIS was pretty much wiped out except for various cells, but in terms of real estate, right, real estate. And, you know, it, it, this whole upheaval that's going on just continues to move along just as we saw and predicted, and, and, and we've had 20 on 20 and Govinda and all these guys. I don't think anyone in our prayer groups really connected to the earth either. <laughs> they may try to be, but it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> but anyway, um, anyway, I have, uh, I can't believe that all this got triggered today, this, uh, this uh, electrical, you know, warfare, which, by the way, You'll be happy to know that yours truly, you know, even though I blew up the uh, the internet thing and the phones and all that, I, uh, I it was not intentional, you know what I mean? But it was all part of this electrical warfare. And uh, I feel that, that it's passed. I also feel that 3 o'clock a.m. is the witching hour, not midnight. And uh, of course it is. You know it is. You, that's why you should maybe get, get going with prayer at 2 o'clock. Because 3 seems to be when it's that, right? That's the witching hour. I was born at 3.02 a.m. Perfect. And to my mother's dismay, I was the opposite spirit of, you know, of what she wanted. The complete opposite of what she wanted as a child. And then, of course... To her own nightmare, what I became as a, as a, as a teenager and an adult uh, completely freaked her out. And I, but, I, but you know what? It wasn't to be mean to her. We all have to just become who we are. You know, and, it, and, and you know, her attitude was, well, people like you should be killed. And it's like, well, you're not the only one. If you go look at my SoundCloud page, you'll see what I think about my... Uh, about people, you know, this has been, it's an ongoing problem, you know, uh, 
anyway, enough about me. You know, the, just just understand that um, the Lord wanted there to be an upheaval. He wanted Trump to unmask everybody. He wanted there to be an apocalypse. He he he's bringing all this. And, you know, it's not so that, you know, people can become famous on the Internet. Fame is out the window now. Forget your fame. You're done. You're fini. Do it because you love children. Do it because you love, you know, people that you love goodness, that you want to help your fellow man. Uh, As far as your own particular thing, it's right now it's all, everything is just total chaos out there in the spiritual realm. It's complete chaos. This is not some stable time to build a, a career. Right now, it's every day is just a different day. Every every moment is a different moment. There's 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 chaos everywhere, and upheaval everywhere, and it's just like a bunch of volcanoes going off. And it's it it it, it would have to, you know, it's this is not a time where you have like a hundred years where nothing happens and you could build your career as a librarian or something. This is absolutely. You know, just just it's any anything goes any time. You know, so we want to be really grounded. I would just suggest that people be very very grounded in the Lord, be very very grounded in God, be grounded in if if Jesus is the one who brung you, then Jesus. You people that are TIs that the world doesn't want you, then that means probably you belong to Jesus. You better cover yourself with the blood of Christ now and get real because you know what, and and I don't want to hear this stuff. Well, I pray and pray and nothing happens. You know, this is another ongoing problem. It either means you don't belong to Jesus, that you don't belong, and that you're just you're just with the perpetrator. You, maybe you're going to become a perpetrator, or that you have no faith, that you don't know where you belong. You're guessing, and if if you're guessing, then you go to spend time thinking about it. Ask the Lord to bring you in. Ask the Lord to clarify. Ask the Lord to give you faith. I pray for your faith right now to be increased a thousandfold in Jesus' name today. Today, not tomorrow. If you belong, Lord, if they belong, let them know that in Jesus' name, amen, that you would know where you belong and where you don't belong. Part of this whole problem is all this is everybody is blind. It's like the Plato cave painting thing. You know, they see a... We don't know who we are. We're in a big masquerade. Nobody knows who's who and what's what. So, you know, it's not your fault. You don't beat yourselves up. It's not your fault. But this is serious stuff. People getting clipped every day. People dying every day. I say, what's the end game of gang stalking? The end end game of gang stalking is your death, my friend. It's not your being traumatized. We're bringing the corner. It's further than that. They need a scalp. They need a scalp at the end of the process, or it doesn't count. It's about death. It always has been and always will be about death. It's never about just intimidation. But a lot of people think that. When you're, you know, like in the mid, you're in the mid-process of what they really want to do with you, which is kill you. Okay, I'm being really raw, man. I'm sorry. But this is just an ancient game that's going on. It's an ancient Game, okay? It's an ancient evil. Did you stop her from doing that, Trish? When you say give, give, give the dog a bone, uh, we can't. You know why? Their teeth are they're so powerful, the jaws, that they, they take a bone and they splinter it. And it gets in their stomach and everything, and then they have problems, you know, passing it through, and it, it's, it's, it becomes, you know, a real nightmare. So bones are out. Even big beef bones, even big like thigh bones and stuff, we used to give them those, but they shred them, you know? So, you know, that's just uh, just the way it is, and then they get sick. So we're trying to be helpful. We, we understand that now, you know? We used to say, no chicken, no pork, no, uh, whatever. Okay. Um, I predict that this... Warfare that I've experienced last night was felt by many people. I don't predict, I mean, I perceive rather, not predict. Perceive that I'm not the only one that went through this last night. Am I wrong? 
I could be wrong, but I kind of sense that this was more of a wave. I mean, it's, it was tearing up. I'm surprised this place didn't burn down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's some heavy stuff. I mean, maybe this is a precursor to something coming right up, but there's something coming right up that is not very nice around that corner. And uh, But it doesn't matter. Ultimately, God's going to have the final word on everything. Witches are foolish. Gang stalkers are foolish. Bullies are foolish. All these people that are caught up in the spirit, right, uh, will lose. They will be tagged. You touch any of our people, you come after any one of us. Whether that person knows it or not, whether they're perceptive enough to understand that or not, it doesn't matter. You tagged yourself, which means you, the, the, you, you get, just got slapped with a due date. That means if you don't get straight with the Lord before that due date, oh my goodness, you, you know, pretty much, let's just call your life ruination. This is not an idle threat. This is actual truth. And uh, for those who are humble enough to receive it, uh, good. Maybe keep yourselves out of trouble. But you don't just go pick it on God's people. They're very peaceful, you know, meek people. And expect that you're not going to get blowback. Just you pick on them because you what you can, because they're too naive or what you might call stupid to figure out you're, you're stabbing them in the back. Well, guess what? Guess what? You know, God sees you doing that and he takes action. How does he do it? You get tagged. I haven't talked about tagging in, for five years. It's not something we like to talk about. None of us really like to talk about it, but, you know, it's a fair warning. You mess with any of God's children, you get tagged. No, you don't know who they are. Out there in the masquerade of people, you do, some are, some aren't. If you're unlucky enough to touch one of God's, though, misperceiving it as one of your own weak people that you can just go after, that's one of you, uh, you've just sealed your fate. People don't, oh, yeah, they used to laugh at me when I would tell them this, you know, many years ago. And uh, some of those people are not even around anymore. Well, I'm not laughing at them. It's a very, it, it, it's not a boast. It's just, you know, if you value your life, you won't pick on the lambs of God. And many people that identify as TIs are lambs. Maybe they don't know Jesus yet. They don't know the whole story yet. Did you turn that on or did it go by itself? Okay, is this thing passed now or what? Uh, oh, jeez. Here's some coffee, darling. Is it passed? I hope. Or is this just the beginning? The phone is still out. Phone's still out? Yeah. Internet's still out. Internet's, internet and phone are still out. We're using a satellite to, to get through here. Here's some coffee. Um, internet and phone... Okay, we'll find out today whether that was a planned outage or I don't think so. Uh, they keep saying we're doing something. I, I, well, we are doing something. Anyway, that was the upshot of what... It, as soon as I went to the internet, it went out. As soon as I went to a website, it went out. It was like wherever I went, it, it just one outage after another. And uh, they may need to have to come back here to, to repair it. This, that's our T1 line which is old, old technology. It's not that fast, but it's very reliable. Well, so reliable, look what happened. We have a T1, we, have, we actually have three T1s here, 24 channels each. It gives us about five or six up and down, you know, not a lot compared to your cable and various things, but it's a very solid connection. And uh, it never goes out. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why people have it, because it's rock solid. It never goes out. Can you believe that? No, it's not possible. But, you know, being attacked at night, I don't appreciate that either. And uh, I will tell you this, I won't be attacked by whoever attacked me last night will not be attacking me again in this lifetime. At all. Ever. Again. Period. This is not a game. You know, but I am very, very well trained in this sort of thing. I'm extremely uh, capable of defending myself. 
In fact, sometimes I find it to be a pleasure. Breaks up the monotony of the day. Uh, And what is the objection these people have to us? That we are not like them. And so they use the powers of darkness and secrecy and criminality. They stoop to that level in order to attack because they hate something they don't understand or don't don't feel, uh, you know, or feel as a threat to them. I'm not the threat to them. You're not the threat to them. The threat to them is death. The threat to them is lots and lots of people doing their own thing, not, not, not even giving a damn who they crush. The threat to them is society as it is right now. The threat to them is their own, their own children is a threat to them. Why bother? The reason they bother with you is because, of, because if they don't, then they get in trouble. The whole world is based on that hierarchy, something you and I are not even familiar with. We don't even know that exists. I only know that exists because people have shown me it exists and I see it. I, you know, to, to have some compassion on these people because they don't have a choice. They must abuse you. They just have to abuse you or they get in trouble. So that tends to uh, create a very lonely walk. But anyway, when you walk with Jesus, it is a lonely walk. I am not here as a revival minister. I don't baptize hundreds and thousands of people like some people do. And I think that's great. Like our, you know, I'm not called to the same mission as the LTO people. They have a beautiful mission with these children. That's not my mission. I'm, I'm helpful to them, you know, but I am, you know, it's just like someone tried to reel me into a church here the other day. And I tried to explain to her, I said, look, I am blessed of God. I'm anointed of God the way I am. Maybe you don't see it that way. Maybe you think I, should, I need to be reeled into your church and sing some songs and do some prayers or whatnot, uh, you know, and, you know, and, 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 you know, be a support group. Um, that's not my calling. You wouldn't want me, listen, listen, listen. You wouldn't want me there anyway. You would have regrets the moment I set foot in that place. God has different people doing different things. You know, what I'm called to do, say Charles, Charles is not, is, has a, a little different uh, trajectory than I do. It doesn't make him any more or less. Or any, we're not in a hierarchy. There is no buddy better or worse than anybody else. We are all equally one. We have no higher or lower in our group. That's not the same with the world. They have their ratings and their thumbs up and their thumbs down and their whatever. They're, they're, they're all the things they're concerned about. <laughs> But that's not us. We have no concern. But uh, the idea of purging God's people from the earth because you don't like them, because they are a threat existentially, because they are uh, not going to be conforming to your mentality, your ways. Your ways are not our ways. You know, the worldly ways are not our ways. When we try to co-mingle with the world, we get in trouble. We get in trouble. I mean, I can, I can send up a storm, but I'm the one, I get in trouble. A lot of people don't get, I do. And because God is just showing me that's just not, that's not who we are. They tried to rehabilitate our people, you know, to make us fit in better. There is not any incident that causes us to be misfits and all that. It's just a different thing, okay? Different species. That's all it is. It's just a different thing. And you can't force that thing to to be what you want it to be. You can't force it uh, by throwing it in jail or mental hospitals or, you know, drug programs or... Uh, you know, work programs or torture program, whatever the thing you have, there's always going to be that difference and it's always going to be that way and there's nothing anyone can do about it. This is God's thing, not mine, Zeph, not yours, you know, uh, Joe, Sue, 
whatever your names are. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not up to you. It's not up to me. You've, I've seen you people throwing your kids in mental hospitals because they don't quite get it. They're not quite, you know, with it. Or sending them off to boarding school where they're going to hammer them with hazing. Hopefully that'll do something. Or try to send them off to the military. Maybe that'll whip them in shape. You can't do it. A lot of them wind up dead. Only because people that are different in that way are not tolerable. You know, we understand. So you try to target people, ruin their reputation, take their income. I had one friend, they, he was a teacher, and they bullied him right out of school, right out of the teaching position, only because he was different. Uh, he was one of us, you know, but I mean, I saw this thing happen. I, I didn't know what to do. I got so mad. I got so angry. I got so upset with this. And, uh, but they're, they're just going to do it. They're just, that's just the way they're going to be. You know, it's just like the, the movie Carrie, even though Carrie was kind of like had an evil mother and, you know, you know, the whole certain situation. I mean, you know, but take, strip that away. Just, just, Put put it as someone that was different enough so that the, the, the all the bullies at school, you know, gang stalked her, and then they didn't realize she had special powers. And boy, did she! You know, I have to say, even though I liked the sissy Spacek version, there was one, another one that came later with uh, this actress we've seen around a little bit, but now I don't know what whatever happened to her. I don't know her. Her, I think Chloe Barretts. I think that's her name because I started another film I really like called uh, The Equalizer with uh, uh, Denzel Washington. And, uh, you know, talk about, I mean, you know, Brian De Palma that did carry, he was called Bloody Brian. He was pretty bloody, but no shortage in that one either. It was it was not bad. But I think, it, I think you know, I know Stephen King was a big partisan political and so many of these artists that you've you've liked are political people, and you should be killed for voting for Trump, and you know that whole thing. But uh, you know, he seemed to understand human nature pretty well, right there. You know that there is this difference. And uh, someone wrote a song for me once about me, called "The Cost of Being <laughs> Different." Well, the cost is you know you're never popular. You're never you know there's. You know, there's there's a difference. Anyway, people that are different. Tend, if there's going to be some targeting going on, they're not going to target themselves. They're going to target you. Okay, you. They're going to target you. Uh, the people that are going to get addicted to drugs, it's going to be you again. People that are going to be scapegoats in society, it's going to be you. Damn it, if that's not the case across the board over thousands of years. And if they're going to look to eradicate people, they want to eradicate you. Now, I may not believe this, but in terms of the whole bloodline thing, some think that we AB negatives are like, you know, descendants of Jesus. But some, I'm not saying that I subscribe to that. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm just saying that goes to the motivation to get rid of us, you see. <laughs> I guess it's from the Shroud of Turin. Who knows? Uh, but that that was the first incidence of that blood type because who was the father? <laughs> exactly. Would not have the rhesus gene, right? I rest my case. And then there's the fallen angels. You got that too. That's the whole hybrid thing, the Nephilim thing. And is that, you know, is it, does it come from there? You know, the RH negative. And then you've got People on YouTube, I mean, I kid you not, there's a battle going on here. You know, I know you guys don't know a lot about this, but some people claim that the earthen vessels, i.e. the positives, are really the chosen of God and that they're being targeted. And, um, you know, and, 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 you know and, and so there's this whole fight that, you know, so one of these is illegitimate. And so there's that. And I've tried to avoid even dealing with it, but now I have to talk about it because it's uh, it's becoming more and more of an issue in our society, especially with respect to gang stalking. It's becoming quite the issue. And, uh, 
you know, a lot of these people that are that are victims of the gang stalking, TIs and such, believe they're being targeted because they want to eradicate a certain blood type, which is why they're being targeted. That's what they believe. I don't necessarily subscribe to that. I'm just saying it's because nobody's talked about these issues that that there's a problem now. You know, because everyone suppressed all this. You know, trying to make it like no big deal type of thing. You know, like it's like, well, everything's a big deal. If there's a problem here, if there's a like division there that's causing some kind of violence or angst or one side wanting to eliminate the other, it should be mentioned at least. Maybe people are very ignorant on the issue. It doesn't matter. It's something that's going on anyway, whether we're you know, up to speed on it or not. And it's a mystery because nobody knows where it comes from, the, the, the RH negative. They don't know. So it's, it's, a, it's a problem. But the people have certain traits that, are, that, have, that I've noticed in others. Similar traits, you know, similar look, similar facial features, you know, just different things. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to be uh, maybe the way I look at it is this. The Lord puts a dis- distribution of people on the earth. And I see the, like the AB negatives of being positive for the Lord, you know, positive for God, you know what I mean? Using gifts, what, from, if, even if they're physical gifts, to be used for the kingdom of God, you know? And uh, I don't know, I'm, somebody told me that your blood type could change too. I wonder if it can. I mean, I'm going to go get a kid tested out. No, not to send it anywhere. I would never do that. Uh, it's not that, it, you know, the spirit is all... But my interest in the earth is not very much. My interest in the things of the spirit is very intense. It's very keen. Right? So that's kind of where I reside. That's where I live. That's that's my world. And any, any If I add more world to it, more earth to it, more physicality to it, I get very, very depressed. I feel very, very stuck and that I do feel alone, you see. But I don't feel alone in the spirit at all. You know, but it's it's hard because if I turn the TV on, you know, the telly on, you know, it's 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 an earthy story. It's it's you know, get the get the get the heist, you know, get find the bad guy, you know, try to try to solve the crime. You know, it's very much it's very uh how could I put it? People trying to win in physical terms, you know, one side against the other. And that's just not something that could ultimately feed me, although I do I do like to see somebody, the hero, come up to the challenge and, and beat the bad guy and get the girl and go off to the sunset. I just, you know, don't, I never seem to get tired of that story, even though it's kind of a letdown in the end. I, I still don't mind. I feel like I need hope sometimes, too, and that those kind of stories that are very... You know, formulaic, admittedly, they do help. Anyway, I'm calming down now. I'm sorry. This, I, I guess I could make a debate about maybe having not gone online here. Or maybe I should have kept my powder dry. I just felt I needed to get out there. Well, right now, I just want to pray in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus, Lord, on this entire podcast, all the listeners, everyone listening, whether they agree with me or not, whether they thumb up, thumb down, it doesn't matter. I want to pray protection on everyone and have peace between all people who hear this now or in the future. In Jesus' name, amen. I really want you know this not to be a cause of a division, fighting, whatever. You know what I mean? It's uh, Or even people with their own philosophy. My philosophy is this. I just basically was raw and told you what happened. If you disagree with me about what happened, you weren't there. <laughs> See, if you say that I have it wrong, you know, you still weren't there. You can say whatever you like. It's not going to bother me. I've been around a long time. People have said all kinds of things around me and disagreed with me thoroughly on everything. And that's fine. The point is I want you to be protected as well while you're working out what your, whatever your philosophy is about what's going on. I have no philosophy. I just know that uh, I, I, you know, things were breaking and things were, I didn't know where, when it was going to stop. I hope it isn't breaking your computer. I don't know. I just don't I want it to stop. 
I have a feeling. I mean, I, was I triggered? Was it you know, because I, I was getting poked and you know zapped and things? And and you know, then there was the whole mental witchcraft thing takes you into another dimension, right? And then then things also are happening in the physical. And you're wondering, okay, and, and it was going on for hours last night. And then, like I say, I saw the uh, one of the one of the main drivers of it. Folks, in your TI communities, you have people who are traitors. I am sorry to say this. And I know some of you amongst yourselves are probably, you know, maybe not, it's not that big a subject, but I think it should be a much bigger subject because it seems like in every group there are traitors. People posing as TIs hanging around in your chat rooms or your wherever you are, your forums. And they're basically feeding off you the whole time. You know, or even, you know, doing things to you the whole time because the more you get to know people, the more access they have to you, the more easy it is for them to target you. So you have a lot of infiltrators. Right now, which I wish is, so Rich and I did a song called Infiltrator, and he did a video of it, a very good video, actually. He's very good at that video thing. And I sung in a really high voice. I could never sing in that high voice again, I don't think. I had to really reach my vocal cords up there. It's like way out of my range, but I did it. And um, it's very, very good. And it's about this very thing about infiltrators in your fellowships, in your chat rooms, in your communities. You have, among the TIs especially, you have infiltrators. If there's two or three of you that get together to form any kind of group online, there'll be a fourth that will show up. There'll be one of them. It's just the way it is on earth. It's that way all over the entire world. So heads up ball right now, you know. Now, it was revealed to me in the spirit and a vision, and I could see this person as clearly as I could see I'm talking to you. I, I see Trish over there. I could see. I understood. It was a reveal. Who's doing this? Well, the one thing I can say is that will be their last rodeo. The person does profess a belief in God and, and Jesus. And hopefully now they'll really get a chance to do just that. God and Jesus. Because that is about the only thing that's going to save them from their karmic ruination. And, you know, all of us really deserve to have a karmic ruination. We're saved by it's God's grace that keeps us from having to pay the full bill. We all have a bill. Uh, the blood of Jesus pays for me. I've we're all, anyone who's born here, and it doesn't matter what blood type or what physical traits you have or you don't have, everyone comes in here with that bill that has to be paid to fix the breach between us and, the, and, a, and a loving, almighty creator God that ironically is within us and outside of us, yet separate from us. Amazing. But in real reality, there is no separation. So we know there's something wrong, right? That's called sin. And that's what Jesus is, you know, that's the whole point of Jesus and the cross. To pay for that, past, present, and future, so that we can be healed with God. I mean, that's it in a nutshell, folks. SoundCloud, SoundCloud came back? Yeah. Well, was it me that did it? Because that's what had happened. By the way, SoundCloud was fine. And then when all this was happening, I went there. And it, and then it, that all happened, you know. And now it's back. But it did not happen before I got there. It was fine. So I figure it was part of the same thing as the internet, the phones, and everything else that went out. So there was, you know, event. I'm curious to know. How many other people were affected last night by this tremendous 
upheaval of you know, warfare in the spirit. Anybody else? Anyone else can relate, Trish? You guys? Oh, no, no. I think that's just a preview. I, <laughs> gird up, folks. Gird up. That's just a preview. Those of you who are very sensitive, those of you who are very sensitive, you, you, you picked up on it all. And when they see you pick up on it, they attack you, right? God. Rough night. Come to think of it, I didn't get the deep sleep that I really needed. Oh, there's been a few incidents leading up to today where we could have died the other day, too. I just... It's been... Uh, I realize now, and then other times when my mind is not thinking clearly, I... I I had things I wanted to do, but there were blocks in the way. That's witchcraft, right? When that starts happening, right? It starts piling up on you, right? And then a lot of other things have happened the last week that just seem to be part of this, you know, huge push of the other side to, uh, I guess what they want is a world without us. The problem with that is without us, they would be dead, why can't they see that? Why? Why on earth cannot they have logic? We are tethered to the Almighty God. They are not. They broke away consciously with their free will. They said, no, we want Satan. We want the world. We want the world, like Jim Morrison said, we want the world and we want it now. We want the world now. We've got all the people and all, we want the world and that's our world. Well, Jim, of course, Jim's not here. Jim, you can have the world. Or Bob or whoever you are, you can have the world. I want nothing of, of your world. You can have the world and all the things in it. I want peace with God and Jesus. That's what I want. Okay, what, I mean, what do you really want? Well, another... You know, another rocket ship, another skyscraper, another another Porsche, another uh, yacht, another this, another that, another vacation. It's just, you know, you're just, you're just uh, kicking the can down the road, man. I, I don't disparage people. I know rich people. They have all kinds of boats and things, and or you yeah, had known them in the past. I suppose I don't really know them now anymore. But, um, you know, I've, I've never been one to be, you know, to want what the other guy has. I mean, I, and some of them get mad. They say, Don't you want all this? Not really. You know, and, and then they, they, well, what's, they, they get mad because they want you to be jealous. <laughs> you know, they want you to be jealous that they have a yacht and you don't. It's like, well, kudos to you. If I wanted a yacht, you know what I would do? I'd like, you know, invent, invite friends. To, to like the, the, Carib the Caribbean, uh, to the Mediterranean, rent the yacht for a week, right? And sail around and then ditch it, man. Just, just drop it off, walk away. No maintenance, no nothing. Just here, here's the money here. Okay, fine. We have party up and dive off the yacht, run around on a jet ski, whatever. Come back into port, drop it off, walk away. No, no must, no fuss. Same thing with airplanes. Cannot imagine owning an airplane. I'd rather get ch charter one, you know what I mean, if you want a private plane, and then walk away. I'm almost saying the same thing with houses. You just rent something that works, and when you're done, when, you, when you're ready to die, you just die, and the house goes back to the person that owned it. You don't have to sell it. You don't have to pay the IRS. Just walk away. Rent everything. Rent clothing. <laughs> rent clothing you know, rent food, <laughs> rent, rent, you know, it's like rent to own in software. It's in the music industry. Is, it's all, all the, the music making software now is rent to own, right? It's a scam. It's absolutely ripping off the customer. But, you know, you, but the, the good thing is you, you rent to own, and when you're done, you just walk away. You don't have boxes of software, whatever. You just, you just walk away. Everything's like, like everything is rented. But when you own something like a boat, you got to have guys get the barnacles off of it. You got to, you know, you, you, you're just constant maintenance. And when you go out to take it out on a trip, it's, you know, 50 grand a day or something just to, just to get a crew in there and drive it around. I'm talking about a big yacht now. 
And uh, that's just... If Steven Spielberg wants to have a big yacht or these people, I, I don't just... They have all the success they want, have all the mansions. I know George Clooney has 15 mansions all over the place. That's his problem. He wants the world. I just want God, really. I just want God, really. When I tend to have things, like, you know, I tend to give them away anyway. So it's, I just don't feel I have a foot, I just don't feel I really have a footprint here. And that may be one of the reasons, or I have a light footprint here. I like being here, you know what I mean? It's, but I understand the clock is ticking. I see myself getting older. I see, you know, coming closer to death. I see, you know, I see, you know, it's, 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 it is what it is, you know. And I pity, I looked at the picture of uh, Burt Reynolds yesterday. And I just remember Burt Reynolds as this sort of very funny, especially with Dom DeLuise, you know, they're humorous guy and always laughing and stuff like that and the whole longest yard and all that stuff, you know. And uh, and then, of course, now in old age, he's, he's 81, I think. And, you know, you'd say, well, that's old, but I mean, in, but when you look at him, you just, you just, it's just your heartbreak. It's just like, it's so sad because you could see that from this picture that, you know, he'd, he's doing his best he can to, to, you know, to fight it out to the last day, but it's, there's not a piece there. It's just, it's a sad thing, you know, sad looking at it. I've seen other 81-year-olds and they seem, you know, they're going to die pretty soon, but they're very at peace, you know what I mean? This is a person that seems to genuinely be, and it's just going from the look on his face, I could be totally wrong. Someone who generally has just not made peace with it, you know, is going to fight it out to the last day. It's still, you know, what it's first and ten and the at the 10-yard line, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all about the football game, the yardage, the, you know. And what happens to people, especially in Hollywood, when they, they make their whole living off their persona, their physicality, their, it's all so carnal, it's all so, you know, people as commodities even, you know, it's all so fleshy. And when that flesh gets older and decrepit and starts going down, people tend to flee from that person. They don't want to be around that person anymore. It's very sad, very tragic, but I mean, you have to be very cardinal. If you want to win in Hollywood, you better have your footprint here on earth. You better be, you know, and, and, and teach his own. I'm not here to judge that. I don't want anyone to be, people don't have to be like me. You can be very worldly and going for the world. I'm not going to judge you. I'm just going to say that's not my way. You know, you want to hate me because I don't want your yacht or your whatever it is you have, or I, whatever. <laughs> multitudinous thing you have. I don't know what all the things are, but, you know, there are people that aren't going to want that. They just, they're just, they're just really not into that whole thing. You know what I mean? You can't just blame them. You know, but I won. I earned it. I, I, I did what I had to do to get it. Now I need people to be jealous of me. It's like, dude, they're not going to be jealous. You're not everyone's going to be jealous of you. That's great. You've achieved all this stuff. You've got all these things and helicopters and, you know, all kinds of deals and, you know, newspaper articles and all kinds of stuff. But you know what? Not everyone wants that. We're each here kind of on our own. Some people need that. You know, that's what they really need and that's what they should have then. But, you know, I used to love the theory of reincarnation because I thought, you know, Maybe someone's here really materialistic, and then next time they come more spiritual, right? They, in other words, they work it all out eventually. We all work it all out eventually. So if somebody is with Jesus and somebody isn't, it's not going to bother me. I'm not here to preach to people, you better get right with Jesus or else, you know, in that way, I say you better not rebel against God when God calls. That's more the urgent plea. You know what I mean? In other words, we've all run from God. You know what I mean? But that's when you become conscious of God and then you understand you've got to lay it down, right? Then you rebel. That's, that's the danger. That's when it becomes quite dangerous. But I don't know. I can't stop people. See, what I'm saying is this. I can't stop people. 
I could be pretty strong in preaching. I make a pretty good case when I want to make a case like a lawyer in a courtroom. I can make a pretty, pretty decent case, maybe not the best, but pretty solid. Um, I can't change people's trajectory. They're just going to be what they want to be, and they're going to do what they want to do. And if, and if you know, the QAnon thing or the New Age appeals to them, there's nothing you can do to get them off of that. And that's, I'm just trying to keep our people from wandering over there because I know that's not right for them. It's not right for me. So if you're like me, then it wouldn't be right for you either. But as far as the bulk of humanity, look, they're going to do what they're going to do. It's not for me to worry. Just like people are praying for me to not to do what they want me to do. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. They will probably be disappointed. I'm not disappointed with humanity. They're doing exactly what I... Th- Remember I told you I went, went through a change? You know, kind of a change where people are going to do what they're going to do. It's, it's sort of like I, I realized that Everybody has a say. You could say, yes, I believe this. No, I don't believe it. Uh, maybe I believe it. Maybe I don't. No, it's completely wrong. Yes, it's completely right. And all those statements are valid. Right? Anyone can say anything and be true. So I just got to, so that kind of understanding that the Lord gave me a few days ago, I, I took it to heart. And it eased my suffering because I've, Felt that, you know, on the internet, you know, can't they see? Can't they see the facts in this case? Can't they see that, you know, the, the you know, the, the, can't we lay the facts out on the table and have the facts speak for themselves? No, you can't, Zeph. No, you cannot. Your days as a lawyer in that regard are over. The facts do not change things. You know, the, someone else has another set of facts to be considered equally valid. There is no way in this world we can win the argument. People try and they die trying. I will not be one of those who dies trying. I have made my case. I have made the case for Christ, made the case for the Lord and for God, and that's all I can do. You know what I mean? I just got to stick to my own... uh, narrow thing and I basically do that narrow path I make that case for the Lord but I realize that it does not move the world, it does not move the dial it does not cause revival, it doesn't do anything it's just basically, you know this is the path, I see it very clearly I'm going to follow it I'm going to say what I see as a watchman and I'm going, I'm going to express that as a, as a spiritual being the rest of the world are going to do what they're going to do. They're not necessarily going to follow me or my logic. Whatever I consider to be a fact, they have their own fact, equally as important to them, opposing my fact. There's no way that my fact will influence any of them ever at any time. I get it. I get that now. Therefore, I'm, I'm at peace knowing the world. Whatever, wherever we wind up in the end, let him be filthy, be filthy still. Let him who is righteous be righteous still. Remember that? Book of Revelation, last chapter pretty much, or chapter before the last. Well, thing is, I, be- I understand that now. That was one thing that vexed me. I was very sorrowful for many years because, because no matter how many ways I tried to state it, they just didn't, they didn't want it, and they couldn't hear it, and I couldn't make any headway. And now I, I'm okay with that. I no longer try to make headway. You know, I'm happy just talking to my peeps online, you guys, my fam. And uh, people that aren't fam, they don't, they don't tend to come around anyway, you know, because I'm, I'm kind of a strong personality and, you know, they're, they're going to want to listen to something they, that they feel they, you know, probably, you know, some... I was just thinking about this guy that became a Bitcoin millionaire, Chris Green. You know, he used to be scrape around for money and everything, and he hit it big with with Bitcoin. And he started dressing different, talking different, and he 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 
posed in front of airplanes, whether it was his plane or not, yachts, the whole bit, you know, all that stuff. And uh, I find it fascinating. I've, I'd love to be able to get into Bitcoin and go take his class. And all these people are jumping on me. He used to be a truth teller. He used to be, you know, AMTV he used to be the guy that was, you know, telling us about World War III and, and all the troubles in the world. And now you're a Bitcoin. You want us to enroll your class and become billionaires off Bitcoin. It's like, yeah, dude. He traded in one profession for another. They don't go together. But he, but, but he really, he was in Napa Valley and he had this great sort of hotel room, this big suite. And he was having a little seminar there about uh, some kind of token type of coin. And I was watching that, looking at him in his new digs and being wealthy and having, you know, these suites and fancy hotels and things. And I was just like, wow. You know, if that ain't the American, you know, to me it was like, this guy is the American dream right here. This is the American way. I don't know anything about Bitcoin, you know. Um, but I certainly don't disparage anyone who wants to chuck the truth business. So, because you know what I'm thinking? Chris and I disagreed on a lot of things, including, you know, God. He's very much more new agey than I am. Uh, you know, World War Three. He kept saying World War Three every other day. You know, <laughs> I mean, we disagreed on a lot of stuff. Uh, and he, he, a lot of people disagreed with him on his, he had a lot of listeners. He tried to be like Alex Jones, right? And a lot of people disagreed with him, but he got some traffic, you know, but it wasn't until Bitcoin came along and he bought, I guess, real cheap. And then like a lot of people, he became a multimillionaire from it. And now he really wants the good life and he likes the nice hotels. He likes all the because he was scrimping, you know, when he was trying to put his studio together. He was fledgling with that. And, and I think with this talk show thing he was doing, you know, trying to tell the truth, what he ran into is what I ran into. He became sorrowful, I believe, because he ran into that everybody has their own facts. He can say what he believes is the truth all day long, but people are not, it's not ever going to be established. So now it, it, it's funny, kind of fun trying to watch him do you know, back to World War Three, like with the Syrian missile thing, and then back to Bitcoin, you know, go back and forth and back and forth. It doesn't really work, but it's it's interesting watching his development. I, for one, do not disparage him, his pathway and uh, uh, his economic pathway through Bitcoin, if that's where he ends up going, because people really gave him a lot of crap when he was trying to tell the truth. And now he's got people saying, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd like to learn about that too. So, you know, I've, 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 I've kind of a, a, a little bit the opposite of a lot of people. Like I say, kudos to you if, for being an entrepreneur and doing the American dream and finding, you know, if one way didn't work, you try another. You know, absolutely. I'm not ever going to hold it against you if you don't want to talk to these people who scream and yell in the comment section about, you're wrong, here's my information, it's the Rothschild, the Jews, the Vatican, blah, 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 every theory under the earth. And they're all valid theories. You know, depending on what you subscribe to, I'm I'm dropping out of the whole thing. I'm with him. I'm dropping out, man. I don't care what theory. If you think it's the Jews, the Vatican, Martians, you know, the aliens, the 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 dome, the flat earth, round earth, I don't disparage any of you, any of those opinions. I don't judge you. I've got nothing to do. I'm trying to keep my eye on the ball here, and that's you're not my you're not my mission field. You're I thank God. I was not put here to convince you of anything, anything, you know, for those who thought I was all politics, you don't know me. I admit it, I appeared that way because I had a lot of heavy lifting with Trump and I was hard. I think we, we and some others helped to get him elected. Yeah, I think prayer helped. I think people like InfoWars really helped. I think, you know, everything is split and damaged and all over the place now, but you know, it's it's up to God right now. You know, he's God's man. It's up to God. And I, I want to see the rest, all the other things are going to happen too. It's like we have the apocalypse and total destruction or, we, or total ascension and destruction at the same time. Fascinating. But that's where I'm at. You know what I mean? I'm not really, I'm just being myself here today. You know, this was a horrible night. And like I say, the electricity and things, you know, is, uh, the 
there was a couple of times in my life where I used my weird ability to like fix a car, fix a, a Volkswagen bus. And I was able to start it, you know, with my mind and, uh, I'd fix it with my mind. But I, I, I didn't pursue that because it was so hit and miss, you know. And I didn't, I didn't, you know, I wasn't interested in that so much. Physical things. But now I'm reminded with the phone and everything <laughs> of what happens. Anyway, I'm going to go. I, again, pray for your protection. And please take care of yourself and your own. If we are going into a time of spiritual warfare over this May 1st thing, which I guess, is it May 1st today, Trish? Not quite, no. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, well, this is the witching hour leading up to, to Beltane. Okay. Well, yeah, you guys ought to be praying. Whatever they've been up to, all that gang stalking comes from witchcraft. And man, oh man, it was all gang stalking all night for me, but I got to go. Love you guys, praying for you, and uh, you know, we're just going to keep on and keeping on. And we'll see you next time.